What's going on guys? Guess who's Bazak? It's your boy GS bringing you guys another online ranked match. And yes, it's been a while. Hurricane Sandy knocked us out for multiple days. But everything's good. We're back. And we got all our, our uh, power back on. So everything's good. And I need you guys to do me a favor. Like this video. This must be a thousand like video. Now, I've gotten three videos in my career that have reached over 1,000 likes. And I think this right here should definitely be one. The return of GS. So go ahead. If you're on your iPhone, your iPad, your your iPod, uh, did I say that already? iPod, iPod, whatever. If you're on your i, anything. If you're on your computer, if you're on your phone, if you're on your Android, go ahead and hit that like button. I think that we should get this video well over 1,000 likes, not only for the wonderful gameplay you guys are about to see, but also for the return of GS. So go ahead, do your boy a favor, hit that like button. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. And let's get into the gameplay and bring you guys some Raiders gameplay. Now, you guys know I had to come back with the vengeance. I had to come back with the one of the best videos I got in my stash. Again, I've gotten well over about 15 gameplays just waiting to be released. And I decided to let this one fly. It's an absolutely amazing gameplay. Again, I got the Raiders. I'm, my opponent decided to go with the Minnesota Vikings. So first play of the game, he backs up and he hits Adrian Peterson on the HB angle. And he takes it all the way to the house. That man is too fast. And he makes just everybody look so slow. So he scores a touchdown. And right off the rip, we are down 7-0 one play. And the worst thing is I didn't get to see his offense. I didn't get to see how he likes to construct his offense. So that's the worst part of giving up a score early. So my first possession, you know, I go to McFadden. You know, DMC is an absolute monster. So I'm looking to utilize him a lot this game. Third and four, we back up and we try that um, that man-to-man -man beater right there. But again, we throw an interception. The timing has to be perfect on that and um, it just wasn't right there. Come on, Matt. You got to reward us for reading that play. We try to pick him up, but we end up dropping it right there. He does a beautiful touch pass right over the top to Percy Harvin. So we're down 14 to 0. And it's, it's not looking too good, you know. But again, you know, I got to stay calm, cool, and collective. You know, I know my game plan, my scheme is very, very good. So I, I know that I just need to relax and not get ahead of myself and continue pounding the rock. Right here, what more can I do? Look, look how open he is, but he's just completely overthrown. And right there, it makes you want to throw your control at the TV. What more can you do? What quarterback in the NFL is going to completely miss a wide open guy 15 yards away? But Palmer does. But luckily, on the next play, we throw a screen, and as you see, DMC just runs into the end zone with nobody ahead of him. So 14 to 7, we're kind of back in this ball game. All we need is a stop. And we can make something happen here. You know, we're back in this ballgame. Next play, I try to cover the middle. My mistake left my zone. Percy Harvin in the slot ends up streaking and he scores a touchdown. So he's scoring very, very quickly. I still don't even know what he likes doing offense. Adrian Peterson still hasn't even attempted a rushing attempt yet. And I'm down 21-7 to in the first quarter. It's not looking good. But again, you know, I'm staying calm. I'm going back to DMC. I'm going to the monster that I have on this football field. Right here, we get stopped short, so it's third and inches. And we look, we got DMC, but he drops the ball. He had it. And you guys know how your boy GS do. That is right. If you're new to the channel, you're like, why is he putting up fourth and inches? He's retarded. No, your boy is playing NFL, you know, realistic. So we punt the ball, and now we rely on our horrible defense to try and get us to stop. So right there, the HB angle again. He goes over the middle. We got him. And I'm playing a, a lot of um, quarters defense. I think that's just the defense for me. You know, I like to play a lot of two-man and under. You know, you sent three. And you got six cornerbacks on the field. And hopefully they can make something happen. And speaking of making something happen, don't test the user. He's so disrespectful. Somebody, please. Sing, give that man a link to my channel. Look at that. Come on, Carson Palmer. How are you missing these wide open throws? I'm afraid to throw the ball now. I don't even want to pass lead because he can't make a throw. Right here, look at this. Look at his wide open streak. Wide open. And he underthrows him. Thankfully, we catch the ball, but that's a touchdown right there. I don't even want to throw the ball right now. When I seen an underthrow on a streak, I really, really wanted to throw my controller and break it. Right there, I'm just getting frustrated at this point. You know, he's missing wide open throws. He's under throwing a touchdown streak. And now I'm just, I'm bamboozling myself. I'm baffled. 
you know, I'm flabbergasted. And right now, if he goes up 28-7, to 7, that's going to be rough to come back, man. And right there, I should have went for the dive tackle. But instead, I go for the hit stick and I miss. And he's going to celebrate. He deserves it. You know, he's playing good. I'm down 28-7. to 7, And it's not looking good for you, boy. It's not looking good at all. I know I can score with my offensive scheme. I know this. But the problem is going to be stopping him. You know, as you see me running the ball still... I'm not going to just go crazy slinging the ball. One, I'm afraid to throw a palmer. The dude is over, under, throwing everything. And two, DMC is too much of a beast for me to get him out of my game plan. So I'm going to continue to run the ball because things like that can happen. He ends up taking a touchdown all the way, and now we are back in this ball game. It's a two-score lead. And again, I'm sticking in quarters defense. It gives me the best chance to stop passing plays. I'm mixing in blitzes with some cover fours and cover twos with man-to-man. So, I mean, for the most part, I have the most um, cornerbacks on the field to best help me stop the pass. And as you guys know, I struggle with the pass. So, you know, I'm mixing this in with some diamond and things like that. And right there, we call a cover of four. And look at the purple zone coming in with the interception. So now it's 28 to 14, and we got ball. And right now, we decide to throw a pass. We cross our fingers, and thankfully, Palmer finally ends up hitting a post. The very next play, we go back to DMC on the counter play. And now it's a one score touchdown. We are one stop away from tying this game, and we were down 28-7. to Now, again, I knew I was going to score. I mean, the Vikings' defense really isn't that great. So I know I can put up points. All I have to do is stay calm, stay level-headed. But the problem is, am I going to be able to stop him on offense? The thing is, I don't even think Adrian Peterson ran the ball yet. He's slinging the ball every single play, but he's being so successful at it. Right here, we call... Um, you know, uh, again, the quarter play, you know, we're trying to uh, stop him as much as possible. You know, we got three down, line, three down linemen and three really good rushers, and hopefully they can get in and cause some pressure. Right there, fourth and 26, instead of playing special teams, he does a bonehead move, he goes for it, and he doesn't get it. So now we are very close to the end zone, and we can tie this game in one play. And that's exactly what happens. McFadden goes right up the middle, gets his one yard away, quick check down on third and go touchdown and now it's a brand new ball game we scored 21 unanswered points to get back in this ball game and again i know i can score points with anybody i feel like this scheme is absolutely you know it's really really good except palmer he can't throw the ball but you know i'm, I'm getting stops on defense and speaking of that no super you doopies on our second interception of the game what is that a third no 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 no. that's a mistake i'm sorry the rippies on our third interception of the game and now we got a chance to take the lead and we get ball back at halftime so that's crucial so now i'm you know i'm starting to you know try to play slow try and kill some clock because i do get ball back at halftime i'm right now i'm in field goal range so i'm i'm comfortable with taking three Trust me, I'm very comfortable with taking three at this point and getting ball back. So I'm not going to go crazy trying to squeeze in a throw and score a touchdown right here. Again, I'm playing it, you know, cautiously. Uh, right here, Palmer backs up. And nothing was there, so we take the sack. So second and 20, and we go back to McFadden because, again, I don't want to make a bad throw and get a turnover. I will gladly take my three here. So on third and 11, we back up, and we look, and Palmer finds McFadden over the middle. We pass the lead to the left. I was a little nervous <laughs> whenever I hit that left thumb stick with Palmer, you know, but he finally throws a dot, and he scores a touchdown. So with not too much time left, we have a seven-point lead, and we get ball back at halftime. So we just scored 28 unanswered points like a boss. So now all we need to do is stop him from scoring here. You know how I like to give up points before halftime. I don't know why, (laughs) but hopefully we can stop him here. So Christian Ponder, he um, ends up running, and uh, we'll give him that. You know, as long as I hold him um, outside of field goal range, we're cool. So right there, we decide to call a blitz. We hit him as he throws. So it's third and two right here. We call another blitz to try to put some pressure. And right there, we get another interception. No soup for you, my friend. So the half is over. We get ball back after this play. And, of course, I come on onside because I know he's nervous. He's scared. That Jacksonville scheme got him all shook up. I'm running to the left. I'm running to the right. I'm running up the middle. But I'm running out of the snugs. He's never seen this before. He don't know what to do. He don't know how to stop it. I'm going crazy. The only thing that just I'm not doing too good is passing the ball because uh, Palmer's not throwing too good. But, again, right here, I am in field goal range. Worst case scenario, if I kick a field goal, it's a two-possession game. So, I'm not going crazy trying to squeeze in a bat, though, that I don't feel like I can 
can't make. So, you know, I'm, I'm throwing short at this point. I'm trying to run the ball, and I'm trying to kill some clock more importantly. You know, the clock is against him at this point because worst case scenario, scoring wise, I should go up two possessions right here. So on second and go, we're looking, and we end up trying to go to the right, but it's knocked down. So third and go, we end up calling the run play. We catch him by surprise. We run to the left, and we got daylight, and we score a touchdown, and we just scored 35 unanswered points. We are now up 42 to 28, and we were down 28 to 7. And right here, he goes deep up top for the streak, and he does have it. Again, my mistake. You know, I thought he was going to try to do it at slant because the last couple plays, he had Harvin on slant. So I tried to read that, but he caught him on the streak right there. Good play on him. Uh, right there, we end up uh, getting a sack. Second and 14. Right here, he runs outside the pocket and doesn't get anything. Right here, I put two both um, ends on contains. But for whatever reason, they get blocked really, really good. He runs outside the pocket, and he's running. Not only does he run, he runs for a touchdown. Oh, wait a minute. He fumbles, and it goes out of bounds inside the end zone. So that means it's a touchback. It's my ball. That right there lets you know the Madden gods do not want you to win. The Madden gods are on my side. When you punt on fourth and inches, the Madden gods are going to be there to help you win games. Right here, we got to, you know, we try to run with Palmer. We get a, a decent amount of yards. Right here, we need a first down to continue to, you know, get the drive going. And Palmer, again, decides to throw a good pass out of nowhere. You know, he can't throw to wide open receivers, but if there's somebody in traffic, he wants to make a good throw. Um, fourth quarter begins, and he decides to quit the game, and we end up winning. What a phenomenal comeback. You know, again, I had faith in my scheme. I had faith in running the ball. I had faith that I was going to be able to score points. My only problem was, was I going to be able to stop him? But mixing in some cover fours with some cover twos with some blitzes, inside blitz also, the DB strike also mixes it in with the under smoke. You know, we're able to, you know, mix up our pressure with our light scheme. I mean, with our light coverage, again, with our main coverage. And we decided, you know, we decided, I mean, we locked down and we did pretty good on defense and we shredded him on offense. You know, we came back. And as you see, he was pretty good. You know, level 5, 49 and 25 before the game started. So very good record, but not good enough, son. Follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. Your boy's back better than ever. Expect daily videos from here on out. It's your boy, GS, and I'm out. Love ya.